Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today we're making Easter pocket files. Okay, I want to show you. I took cardstock and glued it on to other cardstock, colored cardstock. Okay, and these are the colors I have for Easter. Right, and plus it makes that paper just thicker because it's kind of thin. That's not it. This paper. This paper is kind of flimsy. Now it's not. It's not flimsy at all. It's nice and strong. Okay, but this is what I got, and I want to show you how to do one, especially for the, the new subscribers. Okay, I got a piece of cardstock here, and I'm taking this and I'm gluing this down. Okay, and I got junk mail behind it so I don't get it on the table. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward. Again, this is for the new subscribers that haven't seen me do this, okay? Okay, beautiful beans. I'm getting the glue. Whatever glue's on my fingers, off. I'm gonna take my cardstock and apply it to my colored card stock. I'm going to line it right up on the edge. They're all, they're all 12 by 12. Both of these are 12 by 12 paper. And I'm just going to go like this and not touching the edges. Okay, now I'm going to remove the paper that has the glue. And this is why, right here, that's why you move it. And just cover that up. But that's why you move it, because you can get glue on the other side of this piece. Okay, and then you just keep pressing down until it, it's good, but make sure you start in the middle so it gets all the bubbles out, okay? And what I did, I have multiple ones. I set them aside and I set something on them because Modge Bodge has a tendency to curl up when it's glued to paper to paper like this, especially this big piece of 12 by 12 paper, okay? So just set something on it in the corners and pile them up on each other. Now, okay, now I wanna do another one. So I got new paper, it's still got glue on it. Is this paper done? Make sure you have multiple, that's why I have multiple papers. These ones are dry. I have multiple papers to use, put underneath, so I don't get glue stuck to my cardstock. There we go. I'll jump now, okay? Now I have this, and I want to let you know if you want to like experiment and try this. This is from Dollar Tree, you get five pieces in this from Crafter Square, okay? I want the purple one. Only pink and purple left in here. I used the other ones. That way you can experiment. Okay, I don't want to show you this. So that's a nice smooth edge. So I'm gonna glue it on this edge. Cause you can tell that's where they cut. On this edge. So I'm gonna use this side. You can't really probably see it very good on paper, but you'd be able to see it. You, you'll be able to tell, but I'm gluing this paper under there because I don't have enough purple. Okay, so I'm just going purple on purple. I'm going to bring in my purple card stock. Can you see it? Yeah. Up enough and just line it up. Don't push down until you move this where you want it. And that's covering that good. Start in the middle. And voila, that's all there is to it. Then do the corners, the sides. Down nicely, and just to show you this, I didn't put nothing over it, on it to weigh it down. See, it's curling a little bit. That's what I meant, that it'll curl. Okay, 
and I always wait until they're dry to crease them. But just for demonstration, I'll use this pink one because I, I like to wait until they dry so the cardstock don't rip. I doubt that cardstock will rip because it's like nice and thick cardstock. Or because it's thick enough. <laughs> but you want to line these up, and the easiest way to do this is this is what I do. I line these up here like that. Then I go down here and make a dent. And then I put it in here and line it up. So I can see. I'm putting it down here because I can't see. And then you just take this. And if you don't have one of these, I'll show you what you can do. I'll show you what you can do if you don't have one of these. All right, if you don't have one of them, just take a ruler like this. Make sure you line it up where you want it, where you made your mark, and then just real lightly with a butter knife. See, it moved on me. You gotta hold it. You gotta make sure it does not move and it's lined up. So I'm gonna push on this really good. I haven't done this in a while. Real softly, go like that. Okay, real softly. And I'll make a crease for you. And then, there you go. Hey, beautiful beings. You can fold these too. But this is still a little damp, but you gotta make sure it's really lined up. And I have to trim that off, that white. But like that, or you can just use a ruler. Use something, probably better with plastic, and you can do this too, okay? So that works too, okay? This one already has a crease. This one already had a crease. I creased them before because it's it's best to crease them before. So if you remember to do that, just crease them before. You glue down your two card stocks together. And I wanted to show you. See how this doesn't line up all the way? See how it's not really even? That doesn't matter. And I'll show you why. Because if you take your pocket files and you put them in each other, like this, before you sew it into the journal, you're not gonna be able to tell anyway. And they're gonna be full with stuff, and you're not gonna be able to tell. Nobody's gonna notice that that's longer. They're not even gonna care. They're gonna care about all the beautiful pockets and decorations you put in your pocket box. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you one more option. Just for making the crease. Make your mark in the middle with your finger. You can buy these online, okay? Or you can get this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I'm gonna line that up to the crease. Hopefully it's even, because I can't really see. <sighs> Let's see, where was that fold at? Right there. And then take this end. This end is for die cuts to poke them out of the die cut if they get stuck. Okay. Take this end now and go like this all the way down. And then you have a crease. I didn't do it hard enough, but can you see that crease? Is that crease? And then just take it and it helps. When you fold it over, just follow that crease all the way down. And it's not really even because I couldn't see, <laughs> but you get the gist of it. You can have one of them, them, a ruler, or a butter knife. Okay, beautiful beings? Let's see, like this one, if you don't get it on even, just trim it off. Just make sure you don't cut the co colored cardstock that you glued it down to, okay? Easy peasy. And then you might have like the pink showing over here, that's fine. 
You can always put lace there, just leave it. It doesn't matter, it's no big deal. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I don't have no cardboard left for this one. Okay, I wanna show you this ribbon right here is from Dollar Tree, Happy Easter, okay? Portfolio. And I'm just gonna sew this down to that and make two pockets. I'm just gonna sew the top and the bottom, a wrap around stitch on both, and then I'm, when I glue it, I'm just gonna have this and this, and I'm doing this with all of them. I'll just glue this part, or sew this part and this part, and then I'll glue this part and this part, okay? So I have two pockets, okay? but I might have to rip this off because I don't want nothing getting stuck in there. Okay. And I'll probably have to fix that. I'll probably have, I'll glue this down, you know, so nothing gets stuck in there, okay? I just wanted to show you that. And I think I have another portfolio one. I do. But let me show you the other one for Dollar Tree first. And I just put it on cardboard. And this cardboard, well, came from the back of this, the bottom of it. You can get this at Ollie's. I get it for the grandkids so they can draw, okay? But the cardboard, it was all empty. The cardboard that was on the back, that's what I used, okay? I used it for this piece and this piece and this piece. <laughs> so I got three of them for my wide ribbon, okay? But this is from Dollar Tree and that's where that came from, the cardboard, all right? Just showing you so you can save cardboard because you can use it. This is off a uh, Frosted Mini, Frosted Mini Wheats. <laughs> it was blueberry. And I just painted it and I used the paint we got from Joann's for, what was it, five for 10, so they were 50 cents each, okay? I mean, there's blue underneath it, but you can, like right here, it shows you what color it is. But I painted that to go underneath this one because it was see-through and I didn't want the mini weights. I didn't use this side because it was all ripped up. That's why I didn't use that. So I'll probably just put Maj Baj or something on here just to make sure it's smooth, okay? And then this one was another portfolio. So I'm gonna cut this one. Just cut these right out. And then you just glue that piece down so it doesn't catch on anything. Okay, and that's where the carrots are going. Place and time from Joann's. I got these, I got all the Joann's ones in my haul for 60% off, okay? And I did tell you, did I show you that one? I got too much here, beautiful beings. I don't even think I showed you the purple ones. I know where I put the thing. <sighs> I got way too much going on. But this is so you don't get overwhelmed. Here it is, right here. This is Happy Easter from Joann's, and I got this for 60% off too, okay? That goes with that one, and then this one from Joann's, Place and Time, and I just wanted to warn you, this stretches. When I tried to pull it, because I had a rubber band around it, it stretched, so this does stretch. <laughs> I mean, that's good if you want it to stretch, but it stretches, okay? And that's for Place and Time. I got the wrong one with the wrong one. This is from Place and Time too, and I'm sure this stretches too. Okay, and I got this one there. Now, I want to show you. Let me get all these out of the way. Let me show you. I got this one and this one, okay? Happy Easter. Happy Easter Joann's, okay? Oh, and make sure you have a lot of rubber bands so when you go through your brand new ribbon, <laughs> like me, 
you can just wrap it around there so they don't unravel on you. But I wanted to show you, I'm gonna do a design on this. And now this is cardboard you can use for mutt looks. Cozy, cozy up yourself. It's a women's socks. They're nice and fuzzy. All right, piece of cardboard. That's all I'm using. And I'm gonna take my scissors because this is way, way wider than a ribbon, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is just go in and out all the way up. And then I'm gonna take white paint. I might even take gray. I think I'm gonna take gray. Gray paint. And I'm gonna go around the edges because, see the gray in the bunnies? It was either brown too, but I really don't want brown. But I think a gray would go nice with it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just so we have one that has a design. Okay. It's still a little bit bigger, but that's okay because now it's got a design. Okay, behind it. And this one, do the same thing. But what design do I want on this one? <laughs> oh wait, I can use my scissors, hold on. Okay, if you have these kind of scissors, they don't have to be from Better Office products, they can be from Joann's. I don't think they sell them at the Dollar Tree. Um, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. What's the other one? Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, wherever you can find them, okay? And I'm just gonna go up the edges on this. I probably should've went in more, but that's okay. Cause it's really gonna be wide, but that's okay. We can make a belly band out of this one, okay? But that's what you can do with all these. You can make a belly band, you can make a side belly, a side pocket with them. See, that's all crooked. Crooked. I don't like that, so I'm gonna go in again. You can make a left pocket, a right pocket, or a belly band with these, okay? I'm trying to go straight. <laughs> And with this one, I have orange, I think. Yeah, I have orange in my journal, so I'll either do green. I don't know if I want green. But see, it just leaves a nice pattern behind it. Of course, now you can't see it that much because I had to recut, but you can see it. You'll see it when you tuck. And I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these. I'm gonna sew the ends and glue just the tips, both ends. Okay, but I'll come back and show you after I sew them and after I apply paint with my finger. I'll probably do orange. That'll make it pop. And this one gray. Okay, beautiful beings. So once I got this painted up, this painted up, all I'm gonna do is take my finger and go like that. Okay. I could probably just show you. Here, I'll show you on this one. I'll show the newcomers because we have new subscribers. I don't think they've seen me do it unless they watch my other videos, but I'm gonna do it. So let me go get, hopefully, oh, I got silver somewhere. I seen it. It's in somewhere it's not supposed to be. Oh, that's glitter. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was silver. Let me go get silver. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just gonna start it. I'm not gonna finish it. Okay. That way I don't get paint on anything. But I'm just gonna start it. What you do, there's a bubble. Tip it, put your finger in, and just go along it like that. Easy peasy. You probably don't really need to do the top, but I'm just so used to doing that. And I did this on all my pocket files with different colors. I'll show you that when I come back. I can't now. I just remembered. And I got 
paint on my fingers, so I'll show you when I come back. Okay, and then you set it on something to dry. But make sure it's not something you want paint on because some of it does go on the back. Okay, this is kind of runny. I said that in another video too, didn't I? can't find a thick silver for some reason. All right, I'll be back, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to remind you, all these have wire in them, so take your wire out, okay? And I'm gonna sew this to this one. I already sewed this one, give you an idea how it looks. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just do a single stitch up with a needle and thread, and if you don't have that, you can just glue it, and you can wrap it around, okay? So it makes it easier to glue it. But make sure you glue it right to here, and then put glue here once you wrap it, okay? And that's that one, and then I did this one on the purple. And then I put the silver paint on this, and I have to sew that one. And this one, I put the orange paint on, and I have to sew that one. And this one, I didn't have no cardboard this size left. <laughs> I've been going through cardboard like crazy, but so I just, this is just, all this is, is a piece of cardstock, and it's nice. It looks flimsy, but it's thicker than most cardstocks, and you can see that through. The ribbon so there'll be kind of a backup and I'm gonna sew that on the ends and then this one I went with orange for the carrots and I'm gonna sew them on the ends but I also made one for my little one because I have a little pocket file and all I did was get a piece of file scrap and then I got this and put it down here you can get this at Dollar Tree and then it's egg ribbon, and I'm gonna sew that down to that and use it for this little one. And I went around this with pink paint. And then the front, I went around it with light blue metallic paint, okay? And then I'm gonna show you the pocket files before we get into just a little design thing. I keep forgetting. I went around this with pink. On the outside, pink paint. And then on the inside, I did orange. I'm just trying to incorporate all the colors together, okay? And make sure when you store these, you put, put them on top of each other every other way, okay? See how this one opens this side? And that one opens that side. And then just put something heavy on it after you paint them, make sure the paints dry, of course, completely dry or they'll stick together, like this one did. But this one, here, I'll show you why this one's sticking and ripping. I'm gonna have to redo it. It wasn't dry all the way, but I put glitter. I put tulip glitter on this one, as you can see, and on the edges, okay. I thought it'd be a nice touch. And then I put blue paint on the outside of it. I told you that one. This one's a darker paint. It's right here. Magenta. I put magenta on the edges of this one. Then on the end inside, I put, what is it? I put, What is it? Put it. Just. And this one, I put gold on the inside and I put purple on the outside just to 
you don't have to do this. I think it makes them look finished. Okay, you do not have to do this, right? Gold again, and then just white. And make sure you let them sit long enough to dry so they don't stick, because I think this is sticking just a little bit. Just a little bit, but they won't stick once you put the pocket files in. Okay, then blue on this one, and then gold on that one. I got a lot of pocket files, beautiful beings. That's why we made all those belly bands and side bands. Purple, and pink, dark aqua, and then orange on the purple. And then I went around this one with glitter glue. Okay? Just That just incorporates all the colors together nicely. I made sure I used all the colors of my pocket files. Okay, now we're going to move on to this. Hopefully I didn't lose any bunnies. This is see-through more than the other. So all I did was paint this white and I used metallic white. Now we're gonna glue down our little bunnies so you can see them through the ribbon, okay? I had a pattern going here, but Layla wanted to make another video. So it kind of screwed my pattern up. Right. So I want green, I want purple, pink, and then yellow. You can see everything, right? Yeah. So we're going to take the blue. I got these from Dollar Tree. I did a video on what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. I'm just trying to line them up so they're even. I don't think it matters too much what side goes down. I'll give you a side view so you can see how long it is. And then when those are dry, I'm going to put this over it and sew it. And then I'll be back to show you all the ones that are sewed. And I think I showed you everything. Okay, beautiful beings. I wanted to remind you, all these have wire in them. So take your wire out. Okay. And I'm going to sew this to this one. I already sewed this one, give you an idea how it looks. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just do a single stitch up with a needle and thread. And if you don't have that, you can just glue it and you can wrap it around, okay? So it makes it easier to glue it. So make sure you glue it right to here and then put glue here once you wrap it, okay? And that's that one. And then I did this one on the purple. And then I put the silver paint on this, and I have to sew that one. And this one I put the orange paint on, and I have to sew that one. 
And this one, I didn't have no cardboard this size left. <laughs> I've been going through cardboard like crazy, but so I just, this is just, all this is, is a piece of cardstock and it's nice. It looks flimsy, but it's thicker than most cardstocks and you can see that through the ribbon. So there'll be kind of a backup and I'm gonna sew that on the ends. And then this one, I went with orange for the carrots and I'm gonna sew them on the ends, but I also, made one for my little one because I have a little pocket file and all I did was get a piece of file scrap and then I got this and put it down here you can get this at Dollar Tree and then it's egg ribbon and I'm gonna sew that down to that and use it for this little one and I went around this with pink paint and then the front I went around it with light blue metallic paint okay and then I'm going to show you the pocket files before we get into just a little design thing because I keep forgetting I went around this with pink on the outside pink paint and then on the inside I did orange I'm just trying to incorporate all the colors together okay and make sure when you store these, you put put them on top of each other every other way. Okay, see how this one opens this side and that one opens that side and then just put something heavy on it after you paint them. Make sure the paint's dry, of course. Completely dry or they'll stick together like this one did. <sighs> but this one, here, I'll show you why this one's sticking and ripping. I'm gonna have to redo it. It wasn't dry all the way, but I put glitter. I put tulip glitter on this one, as you can see, and on the edges. Okay, I thought it'd be a nice touch. And then I put blue paint on the outside of it. I told you that one. This one's a darker paint. It's right here. Magenta. I put magenta on the edges of this one. And on the end, inside, I put aqua edges. And then this one, I put gold on the inside, and I put purple on the outside. Just to, you don't have to do this. I think it makes them look finished. Okay? You do not have to do this. Right, gold again, and then just white. And make sure you let them sit long enough to dry so they don't stick, because I think this is sticking just a little bit. Just a little bit, but they won't stick once you put the pocket files in. Okay, then blue on this one, and then gold on that one. I got a lot of pocket files, beautiful beings. That's why we made all those belly bands and side bands. Purple, and pink, dark aqua, and then orange on the purple. And then I went around this one with glitter glue. Okay? Just That just incorporates all the colors together nicely. I made sure I used all the colors of my pocket files. Okay, now we're going to move on to this. Hopefully I didn't lose any bunnies. This is see-through more than the other. So all I did was paint this white and I used metallic white. Now we're gonna glue down our little bunnies so you can see them through the ribbon, okay? I had a pattern going here, but Layla wanted to make another video, so it kind of screwed my pattern up. I'll give you a side view so you can see how long it is. And then when those are dry, I'm going to put this over it 
and sew it and then I'll be back to show you all the ones that are sewed and I think I showed you everything okay beautiful beings I sewed the top and then I got to thinking well is that gonna catch right I'm gonna hold this down like it's sewed I'm worried about stuff catching on that and I think it might <gasps> If we put a picture in, this is nice and big. I don't know. I'm just worried. I don't know if it'd be alright. I really don't. And it's pushing it in right there. I'm just going to glue it down. And then I'm going to sew the other end. So I thought I'd share that with you. I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to put glue on the big pieces. And then on the edges. Okay? push down it does that and I don't want to I don't want to push down because I don't want those big I mean you probably won't see them well you won't you probably won't see them I don't know I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna let this dry the glue dry so this doesn't glue to it and then I'm going to glue that down but I wanted to show you this too and this I made sure this was on the right, this part that's wrapped around, because I'll show you. See here, all right, I glue this down. This looks better, plus it's more stable not to get stuck, okay, on this side and then rip this up right here, okay? So I did that one on that side and then the other one doesn't matter I can put it on the right or I can put it on the left because of that okay because of the pattern of the ribbon okay and I have to I'm gonna have to decide where I'm gonna stick these two on the pockets this turned out cute see the little bunnies back there I mean, you know, in, you, you could pretty much figure out they're bunnies, but I just thought they'd be cute behind that because it was see-through, okay? But I have to figure out where I'm putting all these. And I got in a fight with my sewing machine on one of these. <laughs> it was arguing with me, and I'm going to leave that up there because that's okay that it's going to stick up past here. Let me, like, say if I put it in here, see that sticks up past the pocket file and that's fine you want little designs like that it just make gives the journal more character okay here's this one I did different I was playing with it the sewing machine after it got an argument with me and I was doing different designs on these is that one the same yeah these two are the same that's what it looks like on the back but we don't care about the back. And then this one, I did that zigzag. Then on the bottom, I did this weird looking thing. <laughs> okay, and then on this one, I did this one, that looking one. All right, and we're not done. And this is where we got in a fight, me and my sewing machine. We got in a fight right here. I don't know what the problem was. It was supposed to look like that. <laughs> So I don't know. And then this one, I just did the wrap around stitch. Okay. So when this dries, I'll be back to show you this. And I forgot to mention beautiful beings, make sure you take a lighter real quickly so that stiffens. See how it's nice and stiff so it doesn't unravel. Okay. 
Okay, beautiful beings. Here's the little one. I'm going to glue it right in there. I think it looks really cute with the eggs. And then I chose three with the belly band, or it could be a side band, either side. On the front, three for in the middle, and three for on the back. And I will glue them down and show them to you as I do them. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.